Now I'm going to give you the scripture to go to. All right, that scripture is going to be Psalms 109. Psalms 109, we're going to be in the New Living Translation. Psalms 109, 1 through 19. Yes. All right, here we go. As we're getting into the PWOD this morning, let's go ahead and I, I labeled it Yuck Mouth, and you're going to find out why here in a minute. I, and I remembered that from a cartoon when I was a kid, and there was a cartoon called Yuck Mouth. Are you kidding and, well, me? Come to find out when I looked it up, too, there's a rapper now named Yuck Mouth, but whatever. But Are you kidding? I'm older than the rapper, and I remembered the cartoon Yuck Mouth. And Who else watched Yuck Mouth? Because I've never heard of oh, Yuck yeah. Mouth. I watched Buzz Yuck Bunny. Mouth, Yuck Mouth, and then even on, um, on uh, Fat Albert, you had Mush Mouth. So anyway... So that's what I'm talking about right now. Here we go. <laughs> Guys, um, let's go ahead and let's just jump on the hot topic right now. President Trump, Melania Trump have tested positive for COVID. I feel yeah. like a news announcer. The devil has shown his ugly head. Yes. Now that the devil has shown his ugly head, good. We Christians now know how to cut it off. Absolutely. So you got to watch something right here. People say, oh my gosh, Julia. look what's happening. Look what's coming up. That's a good thing because the devil plays his hand before his time and what yes. he's doing is he's exposing himself and through exposure yes. we can find out how to go kill him Amen. okay so right here right now we're going to stop we're going to pray for president trump father yes. in the mighty name of jesus we command and declare by faith healing touch healing. donald j trump our president and melania trump Heal them now in the mighty name yes. of Jesus. And by faith, we receive your healing yes. power in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. I hope you got everything ready. Here we go. p Watch jumping into full effect this morning. <laughs> Let me get a little. Go ahead and comment, share, tag. Help us spread this word. Psalms 109, 1 through 19. Oh, God, whom I praise. This is David. Now watch what David is about to say. Whom I praise, don't stand silent and aloof while these wicked people slander me and tell lies about me. Come on. This, I love that. <laughs> what? This chair you put is. your arm around me. But this chair is really small. She loves and I'm me. not as comfortable as I, I need to be. I love it. Okay. Well, it's really hot, so stay over there. So here we go. <laughs> Lord, don't be aloof and stand silent against all these wicked yes. slander people who slander and tell lies about me, CNN, MSNBC, CBS, ABC, NBC, and now Fox. Come on. They surround me with hateful words and fight against me for no reason. I got people out there right now that were hating on me yesterday and putting stuff out there that was stupid and ridiculous all because they are a person of hate. And they yes. even said on their platform, I am a stirrer of trouble and they just hate everybody. Here we go. Yes. So we got to come against pure hate. David says, I love them, but they try to destroy me with accusations even as I am praying for them. I have heard Trump many a time says, mm -hmm. I love all people. Yes. Calls out fake news though. Mm -hmm. Hey, sounds like prophets of the Old Testament. Come on. Prophets of the Old Testament will call people out for their lies. Prophets of the Old Testament will call people out. See, this generation doesn't understand that. Amen. They think, well, you got to bow down and, and, and be subject to what we are saying and what we are doing instead of calling things out and speaking it plain. Yes. Now they, now this is where David turns it. David now is about to turn the conversation and said, this is what these people are saying. Mm -hmm. They repay evil for good and hatred for love. They say, get an evil person to turn against him being David, mm -hmm. and send an accuser to bring him on trial. Wow, sounds just like what they did to President Trump. Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Nadler, and Schiff, and all the rest of your little cronies. Sound, now watch this. We've had people saying things that they should not have said and reap the, and reap the result of it. I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there. Elijah Cummins said, over my dead body will President Trump get reelected. John Lewis said that he wanted to impeach President Trump from the beginning and started slanderous things and speaking venom out of their mouths. Hear me. You better watch your mouth. Mm -hmm. And you better watch what you're saying about people because watch what's going to happen. These two men both died. Mm -hmm. You better watch what you say. Verse 7, when his case comes up for judgment, let him be pronounced guilty. Amen. He's talking about those that are slandering and saying things. 
Count his prayers as sins. Mm -hmm. Remember, these are the words spoken against David. Now, here we go. Verse 8, because I'm going to run through it. Let his years be few. Let someone else take his position. Sounds like we're hearing the same stuff right now. May his children become fatherless and his wife a widow. May his children wander as beggars and be driven from the, their ruined houses. May creditors seize his entire estate and strangers take all that he has earned. Let no one be kind to him. Let no one pity his fatherless children. Got a female, I don't remember her name. This is horrible. But she's a, a congresswoman. Saying, if you see a right-wing person, you get up in their face, you scream and shout at them, and you... Guys. May all of his offsprings die. May his family's name be blotted out to the next generation, in the next generation. May the Lord never forget his sins of the fathers, and may his mother's sin never be erased from the record. May the Lord always remember these sins, may, and may his name disappear from human memory. For he refused all kindness to others, and he persecuted the poor and the needy, and he hounded the brokenhearted to death, and he loved to curse others. Now you curse him. He never blessed others. Now don't bless him. Cursing is a natural to him as his clothing or the water he drinks or the rich food he eats. Now may his curse return and cling to him like clothing. May they be tied around him like a belt. So many people are just now jumping on. Tell them what scripture that was and those words that were spoken against King David. 109. Mm -hmm. Psalms 109, 1 through 19. Okay. These are the words that have been spoken against King David. Sounds just like the words that we've been hearing spread all over the media against our president. Spoken against him. Mm-hmm. And I've had these words spoken against me, Amen. even recently, because I've decided I'm not going to bow down. Amen. I'm not going to be quiet. Mm -hmm. You're not going to can cancel me, but I'm going to speak the word of God. I'm going to speak truth. Yes. I want everyone that hears this to know something. When you let the horses out of your stall, mm -hmm. this is your tongue dripping with hate and accusations. Well, those horses are going to return to their stall. Mm -hmm. They're coming back. You can read it in Revelations. And you better watch what you say. For every idle word of hate is coming back to you. Now people would say, well, Chris, you, you're, you're, you're speaking hate. No, I'm giving you scripture. I'm telling you biblical truth. I'm doing as Jesus did by taking biblical truth and bringing it to the now hot topics of the day and the now current events and telling you what's going on and giving you the opinion, hey, don't forget about Captain Bob back here. He's got my back. And giving you the opportunity to make your own righteous choice and decision or choose in an evil manner. Satan has reared his ugly head. He should have stayed hidden. I'm telling you right now, he should have stayed hidden. Once you show who you really are, there's no going back. Amen. Unless you repent. Amen. There are thousands of people right now, all over social media, hoping, praying, and asking for President Trump to die of COVID. It's horrible. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. I've got to say this right Go for here. It, Maddie. No. And I don't, I don't know if you're coming to it because I've not looked at your notes, but people will reap what they sow. If you sow hate and discord, you're going to reap hate and discord. It's coming back, bottom line. And we have got, as body of Christ, as believers, as Christians, we need to speak life over our nation. We need to speak life over our government. We need to speak life over our leaders. Even the leaders that we don't agree with, we need to speak life over them. Now, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. He's going to pull through this, and he's going to come Absolutely. out. And he's going to stand up, and he's going to look right in that camera and talk to the American people and say, if I can beat this as your president, so can you. Amen. Watch it. This is what's going to happen. Amen. All right. For those of you, not you, but those that have seen, heard, may hear this. Those, and, and I'm going to say that there are 
those of you that we know that are praying and you're believing and, and so forth, I'm talking to those that are spitting slander. You better repent mm -hmm. or it'll be your pine box being carried out and lowered into a hole in the ground. Have to repent. Because your mouth is touching something it shouldn't be touching. And when you put your tongue on them, you're going to reap the benefits of it. Because with every curse you spit, it's coming back to you. Amen. The horses you unleash are coming back to the stall and they're bringing hell with them. Mm -hmm. And you'll have to deal with it. David spoke about what was being said against him. Here is the reward. The Bible says, we sh how do we pray for our enemies? God, reward, reward them for their works. Yes. I'm about to give you the reward of the wicked. For every horse that they have unleashed and released out of their mouths, I'm giving you the reward. Here's your reward, you evil, vile, despicable people. Judgment is coming. And your judgment will be guilty. They will be early deaths. Your children will become beggars. All of your assets will be seized. Finances will be taken away from you. For the Bible says the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. Offsprings will die and family names will be blotted out. The Lord will remember your sins because you have not repented. And the results of your sins will be eternal damnation. Every curse shall return to you and cling to your body like your clothing. That's every word that was spoken against David. This is scripture, guys. And this every is not word, opinion. This is the word of God. Every word spoken against David, those horses that were unleashed out of their mouths, return to those people. Mm -hmm. That is still effect today. We just, just, hey, Jesus is on the throne. He died on the cross for your sins, but your tongue will still convict you, or your tongue, your tongue will still condemn you. Well, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, oh, yeah. and forever. So we cannot think, oh, wow, it's a pandemic. It's a different time in history that Jesus is not the same. No, he's the same, Mark, and there will be judgment. Mark my words right now. Go ahead. If people don't start repenting now, I'm going to stop right here. Just a while ago on the news, it has been taken down. But the Washington Post put out a post of President Trump saying, derogatory. How good is it going to be when we don't have to talk about Trump anymore? Mm -hmm. about they removed that. Post, about his COVID. But it hit the news. It hit the they news before they it. could remove it. Mm. You're about to hear about a lot of people dropping dead. Prominent people. Mainstream, mainstream media. Pastors. Church leadership that have turned their hearts away from the word to save face. In today, they've compromised. You're gonna, they're gonna receive the reward of their works. Now, watch this. Now, I'm not talking about going out and people murdering them, people are just gonna start dropping dead. It's already happening because they have not repented and they have allowed this thing to be unleashed. I'm telling, I'm, I am giving fair warning right now. If you have allowed yourself to speak against leaders, leaders, authority, mm -hmm. men and true men and women of God, you better get on your knees. The word says, don't touch thy anointed. Because you are about to reap the consequences mm -hmm. right here, right now. Vengeance belongs to the Lord. <laughs> there you go. It's not in the hands of people. This is Church, in the hand of God. You better repent. You better repent. Our pastor prophesied this month. This is Ann. Old, our prophet, months ago, and it's coming to pass. There you go. Amen. I've been saying this since last year. Mm -hmm. I said it in 2019. I said something is coming. If you don't start getting your heart right, th there's fixing to be a reckoning coming. And it's going to come to the house of God first. Yes. But church, th this is happening right here, right now. These words that were spoken to David, I can go back and show you posts. I can show you commentations. And these are the things that are being said. But they're about to come back to those that have said them. Yes. You better repent now. I can't do it for you. I can pray with you.
but you better get on your face and get on your knees towards Jesus. Yes. Now, if you hadn't said anything, you ain't got nothing to worry about. If you might have said something, God, just in case I did, I repent. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get my heart right with you. Yes. Now, have you said some things that you've been like, I don't really like what they're doing. That's not sin. Mm -mm. To call out sin. So, I got to help the body of Christ here because a lot of people try to, well, if he's sitting. No, he's not. He's calling out sin. Mm -hmm. You just don't like that he's calling out sin because of stepping on your religious toes. Mm -hmm. There's a difference in commanding evil to come upon a person and calling out evil as a righteous indignation. When you wish ill on other people, that is an exposure of who someone really is. And honestly, it is just straight demonic. If you can wish ill on anybody, even if it's someone that disagrees with you, we would never wish ill upon anybody nope. that does not believe nope. the way that we believe. I want every one of these people to get the yes. heart right. I want them get, to get saved. We want them to get saved. I mean, let me just tell you last night. We had an incredible service last night. Oh, go back and watch it. It's the on our feed. The altars were packed with people saying, I have to get my heart right with Jesus now. People Healings. were getting healed, set free. The prophetic word was fire last night. Yes. I'm talking fire. Amen. I'm. We're seeing God move in tremendous ways. Okay, and that was the first night of revival. That, that was just the first night. It almost looked like it was the last night. And the church I can't was, even wait. The church was almost packed, so it there's was, no telling what's going to happen tonight. Yes. Okay. Hear me, folks. Hear me. Repent. Amen. Get this out to people. There's people yes. who need to repent right now. I pray for their repentance. I pray for Nancy Pelosi's yes. repentance. I pray for Chuck Schumer. I pray for yes. um, Nadler and Shift and yes. all these people God, and all the junk that they truth. have been given right now. I command in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, convict them. Yes, every news reporter, every word that is Jesus. risen up against our nation and against Before our president, we declare the blood of Jesus to cover them, to remove the scales off of their eyelids, that they would have eyes to see and ears to hear. And every word that has been spoken against us, every death wish that's been coming against us, every curse that people have been trying to put on us because we're speaking truth and we're speaking the word of God and we stand for righteousness, we call the blood of Jesus over you. We declare right now that your eyes would see what the Lord would have you see. We declare that your ears would hear what the Lord would have you ear, hear. And any weapon formed would not prosper in the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, that the enemy is going to be confused upon themselves in the name of Jesus. Praise God. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Folks, I just heard the Lord. I just heard the Lord while David, while David was praying. I heard the Lord say, "Do we have a bunch of Jonas out there?" Jesus, got a bunch of Jonas instead of Jesus is walking around. Jonah said, "I hate them. I don't want them to get saved." That's wrong. That's wrong. Amen. That's wrong. Even though I don't like them, Amen. I still got to love them. Amen. You have Because I need love to love them to Jesus. But if we throw hate back at them. Amen. Now listen, there's a difference between hate and, like I said a while ago, there's a difference between hate and throwing hate at them Amen. and bringing a word of truth that brings conviction. Amen. Some people call me hate, but it's actually conviction. Mm-hmm. There's a difference. If you're convicted, that's to get your heart right. Amen. So, are you a Jonah? Or are you Jesus? Amen, Anne. Are you walking as Jonah, saying, I'm just going to go to a whole other place? Well, God will get you. Amen. Let a big old whale swallow you. Your own people will throw you. Listen, listen, back up. Your own people will throw you off the boat so they yes. don't perish in your sin. Big old whale will take you, spit you out where you're supposed to be so that you communicate the word of the Lord. Amen. 
<gasps> These people need to get saved. Cuomo, get saved. Both of you. Yes. De Blasio, get saved. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Church, go get you some Holy Ghost mouthwash. Mm -hmm. Don't have Holy it. Holy Ghost mouthwash. <laughs> Don't have it. Don't be a yuck mouth. Yes. Don't be a yuck mouth spewing venom. Yes. I understand righteous indignation because I have it. Amen. I understand being a man of God. And when the Holy Ghost comes upon me and I prophesy and declare things yes. that I'm like, I, this is not me and I know it's the whole, I understand that. Yes. But doing it led by the Holy Spirit and not by my flesh. Yes. I just heard the Lord say, read this one more time. And I'm going to. Every word spoken is a horse released from the stables that will return bringing judgment, a guilty verdict, early death, your children will become beggars, all of your assets will be seized, your finances will be taken, the wealth of your wickedness has been stored up for the righteous, offsprings will die, family name will be blotted out to the next generation, the Lord will remember your sins because of no repentance, results in an eternal damnation, every curse shall return to him, and cling to his body like clothing. Amen. Repent. Amen. Amen. In the Make name, sure. Uh, hold on. Repent in the name of Jesus. So let's do this right now. Father. Yes. In the name of Jesus, forgive us of any words that have come out of our mouth, idol, yes. or a horse that we have unleashed. Yes. Whew, out of ignorance out of misspokenness. And Lord, we repent this morning. We will preach holiness, we will preach righteousness, yes. and we will declare the word of the Lord, but we command flesh, die. Yes. Lord, thank you for your repentance. Yes. Thank you for your cleansing virtue, washing us white as snow from every sin. Now, yes. Lord, heal. Yes. By faith, we command, because you gave us the power to speak the word and it be done. Amen. So we command as faith believers, President Jesus. Donald J. Trump and Melania Trump, by faith, be healed. Healed. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And we glorify you and thank you in advance for what's coming. Amen. Amen. As you share this and tag this, make sure to tell people whenever you share this, make sure, and if you've already shared it, go back and say, watch the full episode. Watch the full live before you make comments. So oftentimes, and we see the comments that come through, not from you that are on the live, but from people later on, they, they, they just make assumptions and they make a post or they make a comment with only watching like two minutes of the video. You have to watch things in their full context to be able to understand truly same way, what's being same said. Same thing with reading the Bible. You need Amen. to read the full context instead of taking one little scripture out of context. Amen. Amen. So make sure that you preface that as a disclaimer. Um, and again, today, pray for those that are sowing seeds of discord. Pray for those that are speaking lies. Pray for those that are, are, are praying evil upon God's people. And we declare the blood of Jesus over them that they would be saved, that they would be um, children of God serving the Father, mm -hmm. that every assignment that the enemy has had over them to be used for the evil side will then be turned to be used for goodness. Mm -hmm. God, could you just even imagine all of that energy, all of that time that is spent spitting vile, foul things would be spent, used, spreading righteousness and truth for the kingdom of God? Whew! We would see mm. the ends of the Amen. earth reached for the kingdom. Oh. And I'm declaring that that will come. Well, that's Jesus what I want to do name. right now. I just pulled something up. I haven't done this in a while, but I'm going to release a declaration over you. So if you're ready to receive it, a re blessing. receive this blessing right now. I declare that you will be blessed yes. to walk in the fullness of the power of the Holy Spirit and be activated in his gifts of the Spirit and shift the spiritual atmosphere by his holy presence wherever you go. 
I declare and decree the blessing of the Lord over you and your relationships, beginning with your family, that God will bless your marriage and the fruit of your womb, that he would bless your children, your grandchildren, your friendships in the church and in the marketplace, and that your entire family would be saved, protected, healthy, and blessed. I declare and decree a blessing over your finances, that God will break the spirit of poverty off of you and your yes. bloodline, and that you will prosper financially, that God will bless you with the yes. power to gain wealth, and that you would advance his kingdom with your generosity. Yes. I declare and decree the blessing of the Lord over you so that you will be led by the spirit and his word, that you will know and obey his will, and that you will fulfill the prophetic destiny yes. that God has placed upon your life. I declare and decree that you will be strong and healthy and whole, no sudden yes. calamity will come upon you. No sickness will invade your body and that your family will be protected by Almighty God. I declare and decree that these next three months will be the most prosperous, fruitful months of you and your yes. entire family's lives. You will be the head, not the tail, above and not beneath. You will be blessed in the city and in the field when you come and when yes, you go. Yes, yes. You will see more miracles, greater glory and get closer to Jesus than ever before. In Jesus' mighty Amen. name, receive the blessing. Amen. We love you. Go check out our Facebook or go check out CBM, ChrisBrooksMinistries.com. If you haven't become a partner, go do that. Sow seed and watch your seed grow and flourish. Incredible as you sow into this ministry. I'm telling you, it will be pressed down, shaken together and overflowing back to you. Uh, go check us out on the YouTube channel, which is some of the stuff that you're seeing right now. And remember always, folks, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. Bye. Be blessed.